hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today's tutorial is about the rotary encoder components we'll be needing for this project Arduino a rotary encoder some jumper wires a USB cable and of course a computer or laptop for the programming and uploading the program before we start making this project first let's study rotary encoder basics applications its spin outs basic working principle and how to find the direction of rotation of the rotary encoder i will show you this through a 3d model design in solidworks a rotary encoder also called a shaft encoder is an electromechanical device that converts the angular position or motion of a shaft or axle to an analog or digital signal there are two main types number one absolute the output of absolute encoder indicates the current position of the shaft making them angle transducers and number two incremental relative the output of incremental encoders provides information about the motion of the shaft which is typically further processed elsewhere into information such as speed distance and position now the applications it can be used in places where you require precise shaft unlimited rotations it can be used in robots it can be used for measuring the distance it can be used in radar platforms it can be used to control the motor speed it can be used to control the light intensity of an LED or any DC bulbs that is connected it can be used to control the stepper motor angle or it can be used to control the angle of the servo motor and so on it has infinite uses the type of the rotary encoder that we will be using today in this tutorial is an incremental rotary encoder which is best for measuring the rotation as you can see in this picture this is exactly the same the one i will be using today as you can see in this it has the same pins the clock which is the output a dt which is the output b plus 5 volts and ground and the SW is the is uh, is the switch we will not be using this one this rotary encoder has fixed number of positions per revolution when you start rotating the encoder you can feel the clicks the one you can see this rotary encoder has fixed number of positions per revolution when you start rotating the encoder you can feel the clicks the one you can see has 30 of these positions how it works this is the 3d model of the rotary encoder which is designed in solidworks as you can see the angular position of the a terminal red and the b terminal blue is such that rotating the switch clockwise will cause the switch connecting a and c to change states first Rotating the switch counterclockwise will cause the switch connecting B and C to change states first. How to find the direction? Which switch changed its state first from this? We can find the direction of rotation of the rotary encoder. If A changed states first, the switch is rotating in the clockwise direction. If B changed state first, the switch is rotating in counterclockwise direction. So let me show you this with the help of a 3d model design in solidworks let's open this model so now as you can see in this model this is switch a and this is switch b these are two sensors and this is the switch c which is a common now first let's check this one if a change states first the switch is rotating in a clockwise direction now what does it mean let me show you this if i start uh, the uh, rotating the encoder in the clockwise direction so you can see that first switch A changes its state and then the switch B now again first switch A changes its state and switch then the switch B and so on you can see in the clockwise direction the switch A, the switch A will always changes its state first and then the switch B now for the counterclockwise as you can see first switch B changes its state 
and then the switch A. Again, you can see switch B changes its state first and then the switch A and so on. So it can be for the infinite revolutions as you can see. So this is how the rotary encoder works and now these are the click positions, the on off on off for the counterclockwise direction and the clockwise direction. Now let's start building the project. The clock pin which is the switch A of the rotary encoder is connected with pin 6 of the Arduino and similarly the switch B is connected with pin 7 of the Arduino and of course the voltage is connected with plus 5 volts and the ground is connected with the ground pin of the Arduino. So these are the connections and now let's start the programming. So this is the program clock pin is the output A and DT is the output B which is the switch A and switch B. Integer switch A is equal to 6 as uh, I told you that the clock pin this white wire which you can see is connected with pin 6 uh, of the Arduino and switch B which is the gray wire it is connected with pin 7 of the Arduino. Integer counter is equal to 0. Integer switch A is by switch A is switch A state and integer switch ALS means that switch A last state. So the switch AS will be used to store the switch A initial state and the switch ALS will be used to store the, the switch A last state. White setup, pin mode switch A input and pin mode switch B as input. Serial dot begin 9600 and 9600 is the baud rate. The current state of the switch A which will be used as the last state switch A L S which is for the last state is equal to digital read switch A and then we start the wide loop switch A is, is equal to digital read switch A is reads the current state of the switch A and stores in switch A state the following condition checks the current state and previous state to know if the rotation has occurred if switch A is, is not equal to switch A L S if the switch B state is different to the switch A state, that means the encoder is rotating clockwise as I showed you this in the 3D model. If digital read switch B is not equal to switch A is the counter plus plus else decrement the value which is the counter minus minus and serial dot print position serial dot print ln ln is for the new line counter and the switch als which is the last state is equal to switch as so the last this will become the the last state now let's upload the program open the terminal and now let's so now as you can see increment and decrement that's it for now thanks for watching